viticulture, gastronomy, are these things up your alley? Well, if so, please keep watching because this weekend I've got something amazing to share with you. My name's Amanda and welcome to the Landscape Chronicles. We've been traveling around Spain for the last two weeks and we finally arrived at one of the places I've most been looking forward to. This is in El Ciego, Northern Spain, and we are staying at the Marquez de Riscal Hotel. This hotel is truly unique and exquisite and its design was based on the same architect who designed the Guggenheim in Bilbao. This is a five-star hotel that doubles as a biblioteca with a rooftop library overlooking the traditional old town of El Ciego. It also has a Michelin-star restaurant, which we have got a booking for tonight at 9pm, and a winery. The grounds are simply sprawling here, and at 4.30pm this afternoon, we've booked ourselves in on a winery tour, which I'll of course be sharing with you as well. It has a spa with vino therapy, which is designed to utilize the various parts of grapes and vines to improve your health and well-being. We've just landed this afternoon in Bilbao Airport, which is about a one hour drive from this luxury, amazing hotel. And I'd highly recommend that if you want to come and stay here to hire a car when you arrive, because it's a little bit out of the way. It's a bit in the sticks, to be honest. It's a very rural, rustic town, but in a very beautiful winery region. So if you're keen to come along, please think ahead and book that rental car. First things first though, let's go check out the room. Let's check out where it all happens, where you'll be staying, what it's like, what your facilities will look like, and of course, the beautiful terrace overlooking the vineyard. How not to open a bottle of wine? <laughs> <laughs> now we can finally relax. Funnily enough, we've made our way to the wine bar straight away and I have selected the Baron de Chirel, amazing red from the list, and we also have the Badeo, which we'll be trying as well. Yeah. Look into my nifty bottle. After a stunning welcome to the Marquez de Riscal, we are off to our winery tour. Cannot wait, we're about to see some of the oldest parts of the winery and how they produce their wines, to bottling for over 100 different countries, to finishing up in the most modern section as well. We'll be going underground to see some of their older cellars, some of which date back to the 18th century. And of course, we'll be finishing with a tasting of three different wines two of which we've actually already tasted already in the bar area and gifted to us on arrival in our room. These include the Vadeo, the Grantha and the Grand Reserve. Marquez de Riscal produces over 6 million bottles per year and most of these are Tempranillo and amazingly 65% of the wines are exported to over 100 different countries around the world.
this is the initial scribble design from the architects of the building and they've incorporated it into various merchandise so you can see it here in the pencil. I wine you. Thing. At Marquez de Rizal, if you stay in the hotel, you will get gifted their bottle of Grand Reserve and it is coated in this gold <laughs> netting. And if you look at the colours on the hotel, you will see that there's magenta, gold and silver and they represent this bottle of wine. So the gold is the gold netting, the silver is this coating here around the top and the magenta obviously is the wine. So you can't go wrong, you have to stay there. Feel this try, it's an amazing, very smooth bottle of wine. When you're confused at the end of the winery tour how to get back to the hotel, buy a magnet and it will show you the way. There it is. We've had an amazing afternoon on our winery tour and spending some time on the decking in our hotel room here. But now it's time for a much awaited dinner at the Michelin Star Restaurant in Hotel Marquez de Riscal. Situated right up here behind me, you can see from our room decking. entrees have been amazing, accompanied by the Vidalho wine and we've got the Red Prawn Carpaccio up next. Our last course of the evening is the grilled lamb with a touch of ginger and lime. This is our 10th course of the evening and it is absolutely divine. Crispy and glazed on the outside and very soft and tender on the inside. For me, a 10 out of 10.
delicious breakfast with the chef recommended item, which is the poached egg, low cooked poached egg with truffle and potato puree. Now off to Kudali to experience the spa. Kodali is beautifully positioned over this lovely vineyard. Just so picturesque. And a beautiful place for a spa. The unique experience that they offer is a bath in a wine barrel. The water is infused with extracts from the vineyards, so you won't be actually swimming in wine, but you'll be swimming in some of the best extracts that this vineyard has to offer. Winding up now on an amazing one night stay at the incredible five star Hotel Marquez de Riscal. What an absolute treat it's been. We're now off to head around El Ciego. There are another four or five wineries in this region, but in the whole Rioja region, there are 600 of them. So if you do plan to come to this area in Spain, the Rioja wine region, you'll be treated to some absolutely incredible, beautiful sights amongst the vineyards and some delicious drops of wine to taste. Thanks for joining me in this video today. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. And of course, if you want to join with me in future videos and future adventures, please click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join with me and join the Lenscap Chronicles family. I'll see you in the next video.